So, welcome to this tutorial on how to make experimental noise, harsh noise, whatever you want to call it, in Max MSP. Um, we're just going to jump right in there. We're going to make a gain tilde. Hopefully, you know a little bit about how to do some stuff in Max. This is all very boilerplate, regular, normal stuff. Easy DAC tilde to get your audio out from the digital domain to the analog domain, i.e. your speakers. Let's put a scope tilde in there so that we can see what our audio looks like. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make like my favorite, my most favorite patch in the whole wide world, uh, which is basically a, a FM feedback kind of thing going on with a couple oscillators, uh, you know, making this atrocious, horrible noise. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a uh, no, actually, no. First thing I'll do, I'll make a cycle tilde, so you're making a sine wave, and then um, a saw tilde to make a sawtooth wave, and then uh, we're going to add them together, and then, uh, yeah, and then we're going to multiply by, let's say, a thousand, and then we're going to put a phaser here. Uh, the frequency of 0.6 and this is just going to like you know make this thing go from 0 to 1 we're going to multiply it by a thousand and that's going to drive these two oscillators here by this waveform and then multiply by a thousand now this is the thing that I don't know I didn't really get this at first with Max I mean obviously it's been a long journey but you know we're just going to be going Like zero to a thousand. Zero to a thousand. But this thing is going to be controlling it, right? So that's sort of the basic premise of the thing. So if you see, it's going to be doing this, right? That kind of thing. But, uh, and you know, that's cool, whatever. But I mean, this is kind of like bleepy and boopy. And, you know, we are uh, like weird, edgelordy, harsh noise musicians. So. Uh, we want to do something that's much cooler than that. So, you know, we're going to basically create a little feedback uh, loop here. Uh, but, you know, in reality, digital domain does not actually allow true feedback, unlike analog systems. So we have to put a little bit of delay into the feedback in order for the thing not to implode on itself because, you know, like mathematically it causes all these infinities with... Uh, the digital calculations, whatever, right? So uh, we're going to put some delay up in here. The tap in, tap out, we're going to give it a delay of two milliseconds. And then we are going to multiply tilde by one so that we can control the amount of feedback we have. Put a little float box here to control that. And then we're going to put some send and receives, so maybe feedback one. And then we're going to put the receive up here. Stick it back into the multiply thing. Bada bing, bada boom, it's going to make some horrible noise. Yeah. So that's the kind of crap we're into, right? And uh, yeah, then we can you know control the amount of multiplication. Control the amount of... Uh, 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 feedback, the the f sort of feedback amplitude that goes back up in here, whatever, and then you know you could put different stuff up here too if you want to, like you know you could put a ran tilde, uh, like by the same sort of rate, and just put like a little float box up here, so you want to control this, make it go faster, and then you know you could put like a selector tilde down here. Like if you want to select between a couple different things, you can do this, you know, all over the place, right? I mean, this is just a little max thing. Uh, you, know, you can have more dynamic controlling of inputs or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then, Maybe we would want to do this. Uh, 
this for the range. Make it the same, zero to one, as opposed to minus one and one, because these two objects have different ranges. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how we would want to do this sort of thing. Um, I'm going to add a preset here just so that, you know, when uh, if you want to download this, it'll just pop into, you know, this actual setup, right? This is going to be perfect. Okay, anyway, that's it.